I mean, make it something that people need to grind for. That way it doesn't take away from the people who spend the whales of gotcha games. It's one of those things where some people get, you know, mad at how much money they spend. They're kind of the ones who fund these awesome free-to-play games. Like, they would not... This model just wouldn't work if there wasn't whales. Which is why I don't mind throwing money at games like this, where it's so big and so ambitious. I mean, I'm not big for doing the gotcha pulls just because I like I like things that I know I'm getting something for the money I'm spending. Is that just a hill troll and then cross the bridge? So for me, it's more like the battle passes and stuff. And like I said, it would be, you know, around the same amount that I would pay if this game wasn't a free to play and more of a triple, you know, a regular release game. They usually run around 60 bucks. Random exclamation mark. What is up here? I almost missed it. I actually just started looking for it because I heard the audio cue. It's one thing they did really good in this job was having unique audio cues for everything, so it's easy to know what you're looking for. If only I could eat it again, it was so good. When I was young, I used to travel all over the place. What I loved most about traveling was getting to try all the different foods. After eating my way across the continent, I returned to Lue and opened my restaurant, Emerald Maple, in the hopes I could recreate the flavors of my travels. But there's this one dish I can never quite remember the name of. Just how am I going to recreate that flavor? go. I get it. All I remember is a sweet, fragrant dish. The sheer look of it was enough to get me drooling at the mouth. To top it all off, it was nutritious, too. The ingredients are a lot of fowl and some sweet flowers. It's called Sweet and Mistress, or something like that. If you'd be able to make one for me, I'd be ever so grateful. Traveler, over to you. Do I... I don't think I have it. Ah, oh, I do. It's sweet madame. Okay. I have like eight bajillion of those. Here, have one of my not sparkly ones. No, oh, that was an easy one. And onward we go. I like the easy ones where it's like, we need this thing and I already have the thing. Those are my favorite fetch quest. attack me here. Oops. I don't have friends. Well, I mean, I do, but not on... Not in this game, not on this account. Okay. Oh, how exciting! 
Let's see if this one gives me enough time. Leave it all to me. Mm, let me close. Alright. Then we'll get this one at least. I'll have more luck once I am able to upgrade Noel so that the cooldown is smaller. Okay. That's right here. I almost ran right past it. That would have been hilarious and not in a good way. Oh yeah, that one's over there. I'll have to go fetch it at some point. I haven't really picked anything up for the statue. Mostly just because it's an easy way to level up our adventure ring to get everything. Well, to find the statues and the waypoints. Oh. I don't know why, once I start yawning, it's like I can't stop. <laughs> Oops. Hmm. I can still pick this up, which is mostly what I wanted anyway. Oh, we'll get here and see what kind of missions we have. That we can actually easily complete. Oh, that that could have been bad. I don't have a ton of level up material. That's something we'll have to go grab at some point. Actually, staying on the road isn't too dangerous, so we should be able to grab the waypoint and the statues. This time we made it here for real. You guys don't have to pretend like you're not seeing this. I don't remember where. Adventure's Guild is in here, but we should see the little symbol. Make sure there's nothing. I don't think there's anything to collect in this corner here. Getting around isn't the most conventional. It has led us to finding most of the chest, I feel like. See some action. So that's good. So it's somewhere for here. There it is. Looks like we might as well hit these two waypoints. It's silly not to. We should get a good amount of adventure rank points once we finish this. Thank you. So very much. I think we're a ways from being able to do the next story mission though, and that's a real big dispenser of adventure rank points. Remember if you get any for um I almost ran right past it. Doing the I 
forgot what it's called. Expeditions. That's the word I was looking for. We made it. Ad Astra Abyssosk. Welcome to the Adventurous Guild. We have the letter. Ad Astra Abyssosk. Welcome to the Adventurous Guild. A letter for me. Oh, so you're an adventurer from Mondstadt? What's this? A dandelion? Why is there a dandelion in the envelope? Adventure, did you place a dandelion in this envelope to try and prove you are from Mondstadt? There's really no need. There's more than enough information contained in this letter to establish your identity and background. But it was Catherine. Why did she put a dandelion in with the letter? Very odd. A dandelion isn't much use to an adventurer now, is it? Not that it really matters, of course. This letter from Mondstadt Adventurers Guild says that you're a highly experienced adventurer. If that's true, I'm sure you're ready to take on commissions from the Leo Adventurers Guild. A whole new world of wild adventure awaits you. And that should unlock um, expeditions for this region, too. Let's see. And that's Adventure Rank 18. Oh, I can't do this one. We're gonna go do troublesome work first, and then we'll go do the other one, and we'll get around to that later. Because right now, I'm making sure we unlock Barbara is the most important thing. And these are gonna be a bigger dispenser of adventure rank points. So we have five ranks to go. Let's one of those go into the headquarters, and we'll probably have to immediately come out of the headquarters. Maybe we'll get lucky. I don't know. Oh. Hopefully here soon I can fight the urge to yawn. Oh. Did these come back, or did I just miss them last time? And also, I don't think I was meant to go quite that far into the library. Oh, yep, there's Lisa. Alright, take two. <sighs> if you're borrowing a book, please register it in the log. The restricted section is currently not lending any books. Oh, it's you, little cutie. It's so good to see you. More refreshing than a strong cup of tea in the afternoon. Clearly you're meant to be working, but you don't seem to have your heart in it at all. I mean, other than Jean, who really works that earnestly anyway? Well, let's go with we feel sorry for Jean. So, did you have something you needed? Or did you just come to see me? Let's go with wanting to see Lisa. Ooh, a smooth talker. Not what I was expecting. So, Miss Librarian, got any books to recommend? Hmm, recommended books. Sadly, everything I'd personally recommend is all in the restricted section, which we're not currently lending out. I would like to know, since it's a restricted section, why they would ever lend the books out. What's with your ominous tone? Oh, right. Would you be interested in checking out the Devat Travel Guide? I think it would be quite helpful for you as travelers here. Ooh, sounds like it could be helpful. Do you think we could take a peek? <sighs> I suppose I can try to find you a copy from the list. Isn't this Lisa's job? What does she mean, I suppose? Oh dear. That's unfortunate. Our copy is currently being borrowed. That said, it is now overdue. 
Come to think of it, quite a few of our books are now overdue. <sighs> I really wish people would just return their books... ...on time. Whoa, is Paimon imagining things, or does the air in here suddenly feel a lot more... ...electrified? <sighs> Such a pain. I'm going out to bring those unreturned books back. If you'd rather get your hands on that copy of the Tavat Travel Guide sooner, you'd better come with me. Uh, Lisa seems really scary right now. Paimon thinks it would be best if you answer her. You really are such a considerate cutie. Let's see. First, we can go to... The Souvenir Shop. It's called With Wind Comes Glory. So, let's meet there shortly.